All right, example three says you can take panoramic photographs using a hyperbolic mirror. Light rays heading toward the focus behind the mirror reflected to a camera positioned at the other focus. After photograph is taken, computers can unwrap the distorted image, write an equation for the cross-section of the mirror if the distance to one vertex is three centimeters and the distance to the focus is four. Now, it says assume the camera is being held perpendicular to the ground to take a picture. So, actually let's take a look at this. So here's a picture that kind of helps describe what this means. The camera is being held perpendicular. Now, we know if the vertex is, if the distance to one vertex is three, that's telling me that A is three. And if the distance to the focus is four, C is equal to four. What I need to know now is if it's an x squared or a y squared. So, since this is perpendicular to the ground in the hyperbola is opening up and down, I know that y squared has to be first. We're going to go ahead and just say that the center is at 0, 0 because it really doesn't matter. So we're going to start, since y goes up and down, with y squared being first. Minus x squared and then this is equal to 1. Remember, a squared always goes first, so a was 3, so there's 3 squared. The problem is, is that b squared goes next, and we don't know what b squared is. So, let me erase this so I have a little bit of room to work here. We need to use the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. I know that a squared is 3 squared, I don't know b, and c is 4 squared. So 9 plus b squared is equal to 16. Subtract 9 from both sides, and we get that b squared is equal to 7. And instead of square rooting both sides, I'm just going to stop. Because notice that what we need here is b squared. So I'm just going to erase this, and I'm going to put the 7 right there. All I need to do now is simplify this. So I've got y squared over 9 minus x squared over 7 is equal to 1. Yay! That was fun.